what is going on guys thanks for checking out this video my sports gematria and this video i'm gonna go over some nba games for monday february 14th 2022 i'm gonna show you highlights of each side and it's gonna be up to you to determine who you think will win based on the numbers i encourage you to add additional information on top of this if needed for you to feel confident in your own pick and i wish you guys the best of luck on all your picks today let's go ahead and get into the games we are going to be looking at the Pistons versus the Wizards, Kings versus the Nets, Thunder versus the Knicks, Spurs versus the Bulls, Blazers versus the Bucks, Raptors versus the Pelicans, Magic versus Nuggets, Rockets versus the G's, and Warriors versus Clip Owls, Clippers. <laughs> Got nine games on the board, so I'm not going to spend too much time on these per game. I'm just going to kind of breeze through them. I don't want to make this a super long video. Usually when I have um, just six games to go through, it, it ends up being like a 20 to 30 minute video. This was with nine games. I don't want it to be an hour long video. So I'm just going to breeze through these really quickly. Um, on uh, this side of the screen is what I call my daily numbers, date numerology, Gregorian Hebrew calendar. And then on this side of the screen is what I call my game numbers, numbers specific to the game. But the way that I have it structured is I have the road team, the away team up top, their coach's record, their season record, any other notes I want to add. In the middle is the head-to-head -head records between the two teams, all-time, regular season, and for this season in particular. And then at the bottom is the home team, their season record, their home record, their coach's record, and any other notes that I want to add. So let's bring up a bigger screen here. There we go. And we'll start with the Pistons versus the Wizards. So usually in these videos, I start with the home team. Uh, so let's start with the Wizards, what it would look like for the Wizards to win this game. And then we'll go over the away team, the road team, the Pistons, and what it would look like for the Pistons to win this game. So starting with the Wizards, if the Wizards were going to win this game, I would say something like, Wizards can sit on 30 losses for the season in their 30th home game for the season. They could become 15-15 for a home record for the season. Uh, today with 38 date numerology on the Gregorian. Today being the 14th day of February. If you write out the number 15, 15 sums to 38. It also sums to 124, uh, which is just an anagram of 14 slash 2 or 2 slash 14 which is today, February 14th. Wizards, they would sit on 163 all-time head-to-head -head losses against the Pistons with the win. 163 is the 38th prime number. Pistons would get their 45th loss for the season on the 45th day of the Gregorian. With it being a day with 38 date numerology on the Gregorian, 38 sums to 149. It also sums to 148. Pistons coach can get his 491st loss regular season, which is just an anagram of 149 as well as getting his 184th regular season loss as a coach for the Pistons regular season, which is just an anagram of 148. And then also it's the 13th day of the sixth month on the Hebrew civil side, like 136. Wizards can get their 136th regular season head-to-head -head win against Pistons. So those would be the numbers for the Wizards. If the Pistons were going to win this game, it is a revenge narrative for Pistons. Pistons could even the score one and one head to head against the Wizards, like an 11. Wizards would get their 31st loss for the season, the 11th prime number to go with. Pistons could pick up their 164th all time head to head win against the Wizards. Today does have 164 date numerology on the Hebrew religious side of the calendar. There's 158 date numerology on the Hebrew civil side of the calendar and the Pistons can pick up their 158 regular season head to head win against the Wizards. Wizards would get their 16th home loss. Today is the 13th day of the sixth month on the Hebrew civil like 136. 136 mathematically is the 16th triangular number. And then Pistons can get their 13th win for the season. Today does have 13 date numerology on the Gregorian as well as the 45th day of the Gregorian. The number 13 written out sums to 45. And those would be the numbers for the Pistons. So you have the Pistons and the Wizards. Uh, I wish you guys the best of luck on that one. Let's get to the next game. The Brooklyn Nets versus the Sacramento Kings. Okay, so starting with the home team. The home team is the Nets. So we'll start with the home team. This is what it would look like if the Nets were going to win this game. 
The Nets could pick up their 45th all-time head-to-head win against the Kings on a day with four, on the 45th day of the Gregorian New Year. Today does have 22 date numerology on the Gregorian. Kings would sit on 22 wins for the season with a loss. This is a revenge narrative for the Nets. The Nets can even the score one and one head to head against the Kings, like an 11, as the Nets in their 11 game losing streak. The number 11 written out sums to 27 in two of the four base ciphers. And this is the Kings' 27th away game. This is the Nets' 27th home game. Nets can sit on 27 losses for the season with the win. Today does have 22 date numerology, like I said. Um, Kings can sit on 22 wins for the season with a loss. 22 sums the 78. And the Nets coach can get a 78th regular season win for his career as the Nets get their 13th home win for the season on a day with 13 date numerology. Those would be the numbers for the Nets to win this game. If the Kings were going to win this game, the Kings can get their 23rd win for the season. If you write out the number 23, even though today has 22 date numerology, 23 written out sums to 163, the 38th prime number. Today does have 38 date numerology on the Gregorian. 22 and 38 date numerology. It could mean the Kings bouncing from 22 to 23 wins for the season. This is the Nets' 57th game for the season. And they can get their 28th loss for the season. 28 if you write it out. 28 sums to 57. It also sums to 51. And in the Nets' 57th game for the season, they can get their 28th loss for the season as they get their 51st all-time head-to-head loss against the Kings, 28 sums to 51 and 57. The Nets' coach, he would get his 52nd loss regular season for his career, 52 written out sums to 124. And it's, that's just the anagram of today's date, February uh, 14th, 2 slash 14 or 14 slash 2. 52 also sums to 38 today with 38 date numerology. Nets coach can get his 52nd loss. Nets would also get their 15th home loss to go with. And we've already seen this. 15 sums to 38 today's date numerology as well as 124. Just like 52 sums to 124. Today being February 14th, 214. And uh, those would be the numbers for the Kings and the Nets. Let's keep it going here. The Thunder and the Knicks. The Thunder and the Knicks. So let's start with the home team, the Knicks. If the Knicks were going to win this game, uh, today has 58 date numerology, and today has 38 date numerology. And if you write out the number 38, it sums to 58 as well. It also sums to 149, 68, and 148. And the Knicks, this is their 58th game for this season. They can get their 68th all-time head-to-head win against the Thunder. As the Knicks coach goes from 418 to 419 regular season wins for his career. 149, anagram of 419, 148, an anagram of 418. 149, 68, 148, 58. 68th all time in their 58th game. Bounce over to that 419. The Thunder would get their 22nd road loss for the season. Today does have 22 date numerology on the Gregorian. Um, but that's about what I have for the Knicks. Let's just jump over to the Thunder really quick. The Thunder, we're going to win this game. This is the 137th all-time head-to-head matchup between these two teams. 137, mathematically, is the 33rd prime number. The Knicks could simply just pick up their 33rd loss for this season. This is the Thunder's coach's 129th regular season game for his career. And then the, and the Thunder could become 9-21. and 21 for a road record with the win, 921. It's just an anagram of 129. And then the Knicks would get their 16th home loss for the season. Today, the 13th day of the sixth month on the Hebrew Civil, like 136, the 16th triangular number. All right, let's move on to the Spurs and the Bulls. The Spurs and the Bulls. Let's start with the home team, the Bulls. If the Bulls are going to win this game, they have a revenge narrative. They can even the score one and one head to head against the Spurs, like an 11, as the Spurs sit on 11 road wins with a loss. Bulls, this is their 30th home game for the season, and they can get their 37th win for this season to go with. If you write out the number 30, it sums to 37.
today has 22 and 58 date numerology on the Gregorian. It's the Spurs 58th game. It's the Bulls 58th game. Spurs can sit on 22 wins for the season with the loss. Bulls can get their 22nd home win. Bulls coach would get a 68th win regular season as a coach for the Bulls. Today with 38 date numerology on the Gregorian, 38 written out, sums the 68. And those would be, uh, on top of that, with it being the 50th game, 50th game for the Bulls and the Spurs, Bulls can sit on 58 all-time head-to-head losses against the Spurs with a win to go with. So let's look at the Spurs now. If the Spurs were going to win this game, if the Spurs were going to win this game, the Spurs can go ahead and pick up their 23rd win for the season and their 58th game for the season today with 58 date numerology as well as 38 date numerology, 23 written out. Sums to 163, the 38th prime number. Spurs can get that 23rd win in their 58th game. Bulls can get their 22nd loss for the season on a day with 22 date numerology for the Gregorian. Spurs coach, he would sit on 688 all-time, or excuse me, 688 regular season losses for his career with a win. Um, it looks like just an elongated number 68. 38 date numerology, 38 sums of 68. It could go with the Spurs getting their 23rd win, 23 sums to 163, the 38th prime number. Um, but that's about what I have for this one. Not, not a whole lot here. Um, just a couple numbers for each side. Let's keep it moving, though. Trailblazers versus the Bucks. Trailblazers versus the Bucks. So if the Bucks were going to win this game, the home team, we'll start with the home team. Today does have 22 date numerology on the Gregorian. The Bucks can sit on 22 losses for the season with a win as the Bucks pick up their 79th all-time head-to-head win against the Blazers, 79, the 22nd prime number. Bucks can sweep the Blazers 2-0, like 20 head-to-head against for the season as the Bucks pick up their 20th home win to go with. The Blazers would get their 35th loss for the season as they become 7-19, for a road record 719 mathematically is the 128th prime number and the number 35 mathematically sums to 128 the 35th loss as they become 719 the 128th prime number now if the trailblazers were going to win this game it would come down to the bucks getting their 23rd loss for the season 23, we have already, I've already shown you, sums to 163, the 38th prime number. Today does have 38 date numerology on the Gregorian. Today does have 22 date numerology. 22 does sum to 78. And Bucks can simply just sit on 78 all-time head-to-head wins against the Blazers with a loss as they get their 23rd loss for this season. And this is a revenge narrative game for the Blazers, the second and last head-to-head matchup between these two teams. Blazers could even the score one and one head-to-head, like an 11. Uh, and then the Bucks coach, he would sit on 197 wins regular season as a coach for the Bucks. 197 is the 45th prime number. Today does have 45, or today is the 45th day of the Gregorian year. Raptors versus the Pelicans. Raptors versus the Pelicans. We're almost done here. Uh, hopefully this is helping so far. So Pelicans, if the Pelicans, the home team, if the home team was going to win... Pelicans can go from 22 to 23 wins for the season. Today has 22 and 38 date numerology on the Gregorian. We know if we write out 23, it sums to 163, the 38th prime number. Uh, the Pelicans, they can get their 13th home win for the season. Today does have 13 date numerology on the Gregorian as well. Like I said, 38 date numerology and Pelicans could become 13, 15 for a home record. Right out 15. We know that 15 sums to 38. I've already showed you that for this video. Uh, Raptors, they would sit on 15 road wins with a loss. Uh, and they would get their 25th loss for the season. 25, if you write out 25. 25 sums to 149. Uh, just like the number 38 sums to 149. And so there's some similarities there between those two numbers uh, via Gematria. And um, that's all I have for the Pelicans for right now. If uh, if the Raptors were going to win this game, 
Um, you can look towards the 16s. Pelicans can get their 16th home loss as Raptors get their 16th road win. Today is the 13th day of the sixth month on the Hebrew Civil, like 136. 136 mathematically is the 16th triangular number. Raptors would also sit on 16 all-time head-to-head losses against the Pelicans as they get their 16th road win as Pelicans get their 16th home loss. Raptors would get their 27th all-time head-to-head win against Pelicans in their 27th away game. Raptors would become 16-27 all-time head-to-head against Pelicans with the win in their 27th away game as they get their 16th away win for the season. I didn't see anything for the 32. I couldn't find anything for the 32 off the top. Uh, 32. Actually, that's not true. I just found something. I don't know why I didn't see it before. 32 sums to 158. And uh, today does have 158 or 158 dating knowledge on the Hebrew civil side. And so that actually would go with the 16s for the Raptors. Um, Raptors getting their 16th road win. Pelicans getting their 16th home loss. Raptors sitting on 16 all-time head-to-head losses against. 13th day of the sixth month, the 16th triangular number, a day with 32 and 158 date numerology. I don't know why I missed both of those numbers before. Raptors can get their 32nd win for this season. Uh, Magic and the Nuggets. Magic and the Nuggets. Let's start with the home team, the Nuggets. If the Nuggets were going to win this game, they can get their 32nd win for the season and their 57th game for the season. If you write out the number 57, 57 sums to 131, the 32nd prime number. On top of that, we just discovered some 32 connections on the Hebrew Civil, 32 date numerology, 32 sums to 158, 158 date numerology. Nuggets can get that 32nd win in their 57th game, 57 sums to 131, the 32nd prime number. Nuggets can also become 16 and 10 at home for the season with the win. It is the 161st day of the Hebrew Civil calendar, 161, 16, 10. They look very similar. 158 date numerology, 32 date numerology. 13th day of the sixth month, like 136. Magic would get their 46th loss for the season. 46. 46 sums to 136. Magic would sit on 13 wins for the season. Today with 13 date numerology on the Gregorian, the 45th day of the Gregorian year. 13 written out sums to 45. This is a revenge narrative for the Nuggets. They could even the score one and one head-to-head against the Magic like an 11. Nuggets coach would get his 337th win regular season for his career. 337 is the 68th prime number today with 38 date numerology. 38 sums to 68. If the Magic was going to win this game, uh, they can go ahead and sweep the Nuggets 2-0 and head-to-head for the season like 20. If you write out the number 20... 20 sums to 26. And this is the Nuggets 26th game or 26th home game for the season. Let me if I can mark this light blue. 26th home game for the season. They can get their 26th loss for the season as Magic sweep the Nuggets 2 0 like 20 for the season. Magic would sit on 45 losses for the season with the win. Today is the 45th day of the Gregorian New Year. And um, either one of these two teams can get their 34th all-time head-to-head win against the other. This is the Magic's 34th road game. Maybe it favors the Magic in getting their 34th all-time head-to-head win against the Nuggets. Rockets versus the Jazz. Two more games to go. Rockets versus the Jazz. All right, let's start with the home team, the Jazz. If the Jazz were going to win this game, they can sit on 21 losses for the season as they pick up their 21st home win for the season as they become 2-1, and one, like 21, head-to-head against the Rockets for the season with the win. Rockets would get their 41st loss for the season today with 13 date numerology on the Gregorian, 41 sums to 13. Rockets would go from 22 to 23 losses on the road for the season today with 22 and 38 Date numerology on the Gregorian, we know that the number 23 written out sums to 163, the 38th prime number. Uh, What else? What else? 
It is the Jazz 31st home game for the season. If we write out the number 31, 31 sums to 134. Jazz can pick up their 134th all-time head-to-head win against the Rockets. And um, I think that's it. Rockets coach, he can sit on 32 wins regular season for his career. We found out that the Hebrew Civil has plenty of 32 connections for the Dayton numerology. Um, but let's go ahead and switch it up here. If the Rockets were going to pull off the upset here, today does have 22 Dayton numerology on the Gregorian. The Jazz could get their 22nd loss for this season. Jazz coach, he would get his 253rd regular season loss uh, for his career, 253 to 22nd triangular number the rockets would get their second head-to-head -head win against the jazz for the season as the rockets sit on 22 road losses with a win um the rockets they would get their 16th win for the season as their coach gets his 33rd win regular season for his career 16 written out sums to 33 and so they can get their 16th win for the season as he gets his 33rd win. Also, Rockets could become 16 and 40 for a season record with the win. 16 and 40. Today does have 164 date numerology on the Hebrew religious side. 164, 16, 40, very similar with each other. And um, let's keep it moving. We're going to do the last game of the night. The Warriors versus the Clippers. Warriors versus the Clippers. So let's start with the home team, the Clippers. If the Clippers were going to win this game, uh, they can sit on 30 losses for the season in their 30th home game with a win. Clippers would become 1-2 and head-to-head -head against the Warriors for the season with a win. From the Warriors' side, it would be 2-1, and one, like 21. And if we write out the number 21, 21 sums to 141. And it also sums to 42. Warriors can sit on 42 wins for the season with a loss as they sit on 141 all-time head-to-head wins against Clippers with a loss as Warriors fall 2-1, to one, like 21 head-to-head -head against the Clippers for the season with a loss. So with the Warriors' loss, that 21, that 141, and this 42 all seem to uh, come together. And then uh, what else here? 29, 29, 30. It kind of looks like a 293. A 293. 293 is the 62nd prime number. 293, 62nd prime number. If you write out the number 62, 62 sums to 38. Today does have 38 date numerology on the Gregorian. That could be what allows Clippers to become 29, 30 potentially. They would sit on 13 losses at home for the season with a win, 13. Date numerology on the Gregorian. And um, Warriors, they would get their 16th loss for the season as they sit on 16 road wins with a loss. And today is the 13th day of the sixth month on the Hebrew civil calendar, like 136, the 16th triangular number. And those would be some numbers for the Clippers to win this game. If the Warriors were going to go ahead and win this game, uh, today it does have 38 date numerology on the Gregorian, 38 sums to 148. It also sums to 149. Warriors coach can go from 418 to 419 wins regular season for his career. 419 and 418 are just anagrams of 148 and 149. Today is the 14th of February or February 14th. Any way you want to write it, the Warriors can get their 142nd all-time head-to-head win against the Clippers. 142 is just an anagram of 2-1-4. The Warriors can actually up the series 3-0, like 30 head-to-head -head against the Clippers in the Clippers' 30th home game. Instead of Clippers sitting on 30 losses for the season, they would get that 31st loss for the season uh, as Warriors become 3-0, like 30 head-to-head -head against the Clippers in their 30th home game. And um, Warriors would sit on 15 losses, 15 sums of 38. 
they would get their 43rd win. I didn't see anything in particular with the 43. Didn't jump out at me. 43, 130, 49, 59, 140. I mean, their next game is going to be their 59th game, so maybe they go into their 59th game with 43 wins for this season because 43 sums to 59. Or maybe they sit on 42 wins and they get their 53rd win in their 59th game. So you're going to have to just kind of watch that and see how it goes. 43, though, it does sum to 49. And it is the 227th regular season head-to-head matchup between these two teams. 227 is the 49th prime number. Maybe that's the 49 that is needed for Warriors to get their 43rd win for the season 43 sums to 49 and then they'll be have 43 wins heading into their 59th game for the season uh something to, to think about let me turn the light back on my background light all right so that's basically that's basically the games for today all nine games um Hopefully this helps. Hopefully this gives you insight to what's going on uh, in these nine games. I breezed through it pretty quickly. Hopefully you understood most of it. If not, just go back and rewatch it. I don't want to take up too much of your guys' time in this video. I can make um, pick, pick preview videos that are like five or seven games. They'll end up being like 20 to 30 minutes long. So I figured nine games would probably end up being 45 minutes long if I took my time. Uh, but I don't want you guys watching a 45-minute video. I know you guys won't watch a 45 minute video, um, but hopefully this helps. Hopefully this gave you gave you insight to the games. I really appreciate you guys watching. I appreciate the support. Hopefully it wasn't too boring. Hopefully you made it through. Uh, and uh, I wish you guys the best of luck. Hopefully you win all the money in the world and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks guys.